Hello, my name is Mikai Stevens. Welcome to Hamlet Development Log number 19. We are uh, just kind of uh, changed things up a little bit. Uh, we thought we'd put this in development, not promised, uh, coming soon. Uh, and new in version 4, uh, we are going to talk about a idea where uh, content may not come out as advertised or shown or or as shown uh, it's just kind of talking about this idea that um, because this is sort of um, you know we are showing stuff behind the scenes and stuff we're working on like castles and stuff they may not be included in the Hamlet version so uh, anyways so we have a game demo so we uh, we're we haven't really changed a little bit um, well, we changed quite a bit actually uh, yeah so one thing uh, I had to uh, reset the characters and everything um, there was a, a slight problem with the uh, resources, but we'll get into that in a second. But anyways, uh, if you hit uh, F7, we actually, uh, first thing we did was uh, fix our RTS camera. Uh, the problem was when we switched over the UI that had um, a world space camera and switched it to an overview camera that didn't set the depth correctly of our, um, our, our, oops, something there, uh, of our character. Uh, so yeah, so we uh, we were trying to show off this demo here of the new sort of uh, resource system, such as you can collect rock here, and we also added the animation. Um, oh, I think that's um, there's three rocks uh, on this uh, this harvest, and now it's it's running out. So I guess I should say, um, you know, hey, you're out of, you, and the harvest should actually go away. Um, but uh, the other thing too is now we need the axe, so we come over here. Um, the so part of this is just kind of the uh, the roguelike interaction. So we can walk up and you can turn things on and off. Um, the lamppost is actually not working right now, um, but it's sort of planned that sort of idea that you can have um, uh, uh, the lamppost. Uh, anyways, and then we have this new crate uh, which we can store rocks here. So this uh, stores it in the um, we're kind of calling it the uh, like the um, the character like uh, world state like they can have um, uh, you can also come up and uh, interact this is kind of the old way to interact with the systems we haven't brought over the new um, cooler interaction but uh, this just gives you the idea that you can enter the cave uh, can't enter the cave anyways you can also store logs here uh, you believe you can go inside um, and you can sleep or rest here in the bed um, but the idea now is we're talking about is um, the trees. Trees are a little bit different in the fact that um, they um, they cost energy. Uh, it's a completely different system. Um, yes, there we go. Um, and hopefully that um, I know the backpack doesn't reflect the changes that you're uh, there. That's part of the uh, larger graphics package um, that we're trying to include. Oh, yep, it didn't give us any logs. Um, so, yeah, and then as you can see, because the uh, the tree was totally knocked down, um, I think these trees are sort of similar. Um, they're all the same tree. Uh, we just kind of wanted to put our forest back. I know there's a lot of clipping issues um, here, um, but uh, part of it is, you know, part of it is like, you know, you're going through a forest. It's dense, dense um, foliage, so you can't really... You know, see a lot, but <laughs> no excuse, I suppose. Um, so I want to talk about the movement quite a bit. Um, this is kind of like the roguelike movement. I've been seeing some really cool movement um, ideas, but um, for roguelikes that make it cooler. Uh, I also noticed this too. Uh, you can actually, oh, yes, uh, we can actually, yes, you can walk down. Oh, hey, come on. Uh, if you walk up and you turn this around, you can see that the, the ladders had this uh, placing uh, cube there that was never replaced. Uh, anyways, our guy uh, gave the big spoiler that you can actually get up on ladders, and it uh, it seems to work pretty good um, that you can get up the ladders. But um, the one of the problems we sort of now have to think about is how to get um, down from the ladders, uh, um, which you have. Suddenly doesn't want to. Yeah, one of the mini. Uh, it's a very very early, uh, and yeah, and the safe system's not working either. Uh, it's very early, um, but 
uh, maybe it's because we didn't go up, but the, um, yeah, so it also sort of has a little bit of trouble getting on and off the ladder. So now that we're here, huh, what was it? Oh, I was hitting the wrong key. That was the problem. So anyways, uh, we set up these uh, hotkeys. Uh, you can see, uh, they're sort of, you can actually now fly in the world, which is another uh, handy feature. Uh, yeah, so. There's no physics, um, even though there's no rigid bodies uh, sort of physics attached to the character, which is actually pretty helpful that, you know, you can now fly around the world um, um, as sort of a, a um, offset to this ability, but, uh, yeah, and then you can actually go through terrain, but, but yeah, and then, you know, we're not sure, uh, ladders are sort of an idea of these watchtowers, um, the one of the, you know, we, we have this idea, oops, M. Uh, M and K are the keys, by the way, uh, if you're that excited. But uh, anyway, so you can, like, walk through the... Wa uh, well, okay, these are physics-based. <laughs> uh, we have this tower that you can actually envision that you can actually walk into this 3x3 three three room. And then um, at some point, there might be a ladder in the center of that. You can climb up and get on top of the watchtower, which uh, we think is great. Um, oh, also, I should point out, we uh, we updated the uh, sky blocks as well. Um, and it's M... M. Uh, oh. uh, we we just added this uh, generic um, sky block in the world. Um, it, it it just felt like it was going to be pretty cool, uh, just to have something out there. Um, and then there's some night and day cycles and stuff like that. But um, a lot of this is kind of a huge sort of work in progress ideas. Um, but yeah, I think yeah he does it an, uh, on the actions now. He just does a a do chop, which is his default action. Uh, the other thing, too, is uh, also I, I added, um, I, I broke down and I said, oh, you minus two for severe law. Uh, and, yeah, and it seems to hit multiple times, uh, which is kind of what you, I, I would, it, it only needs to hit um, once when you enter the cave as minus two, and then once when you leave the cave as minus two. And um, the, actually, the other system, thing is supposed to do is, I don't think it's working as intended, when you read the sign, it's supposed to be minus three now, um, because you now know the law is more severe, uh, because, um, the, I think it might be minus one, and then plus, or minus one at the start, and then minus one if you read the sign, I want to say, and then minus another one if you talk to an NPC that's not there yet. Uh, so yeah, NPCs could be easily come back now that we have the, um, the dialogue system, I guess that's one of the next things. Um, and I need to bring back the, um, I, uh, oh yeah, that's, uh, another thing I didn't talk about, but, um, uh, I, we still have the, uh, debug menu, but I don't think there's anything else that we have, um, uh, yeah, and you can go back to, uh, but I guess, um, I guess, um, oh, I don't think it actually, oh, oh, yeah, sorry, you can't, you still can't quit from there. Um, I don't think it um, allows... Uh, we've added the uh, version 2 into the... Um, which is under... Yeah. I don't think this will work as much as it would. I'd want it to. Uh, but you can see now that we we can bring up the... Um, you know, the... Um, oh, that actually might be a crate. Um, anyways, you can bring up the help panels. Uh, stuff like that. Um, and you can bring up the... Uh, d uh, dialogue system, I believe that's the, um, the old one. Um, I thought there was a, yeah, there's a, you know, obviously quite a bit of errors there, but anyway, so I've, I've just decided that, um, it wasn't that hard to include the Hamlet version two, um, sort of the, the Haven engine version two, uh, and so that's all, you know, brought into here. Um, yeah, and then, so that's awesome. Um, but you can see there's a few, um, you know, we've got Larry, Moe, and Curly, and our, our logs here, uh, which are sort of that, that wood pile that we were talking about. And then we can see that we have, um, I think there's, is this the main character? No, this is a, this character right here is a, oh, it might be the prefabs. Yeah, that's the prefab of the player. Uh, and our, our lighting's a little off here, uh, and then our, our cave system didn't quite make it into the game. But, um, yeah, so hopefully, so I just, um, you know, I just know there's quite a few errors here, but we actually have, um, over here, 
Um, for instance, I um, I broke the law the rock. So if I double click on the rock, um, I just added it back. I think it might be a little bit. Um, it's kind of how we're doing things now. Um, I guess I should talk about that a little bit since it's um, we have this theme. Uh, it's called prefabs right here. Or no 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 I'm sorry. Um, it is called yes the not game. Uh, we have this thing called prefab, um, which sort of starts out that it creates this prefab, uh, which we just sort of, um, um, it's just this, this scene node layout, and then it just tells us that we have a prefab object here, um, in which our prefab objects are just telling us that the cube is minus 0.1. Um, and then so when we, we set that up, uh, you can go into your uh, settings here, and in your, oh, no, in your... Um, in your bum, 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 in your editor, I believe it's called, you can actually set up a uh, prefab scene. So in our UI, we have this prefab scene. So now, um, that was one way we were thinking about doing it. It doesn't, so like if I double click on the rock, you can see that the rock sort of signifies that it's like, oh, hey, um, and that actually gives us some idea that, oh, this rock's a little too high. Um. I, I think we ch and I think it's supposed to be scaled down just a tad bit more. Um, yes, because I want the the thing to fit into the square. But then I also realized that um, that the main easy way to do this is everything's in a one by one um, node. So you can see this one sticking out a little bit, as, and this one's a little bit as well. So maybe we should try to drop that down to you know. So, anyways. Um, we'll have some sort of uh, play with that to try to get it to um, yeah so something to that effect so uh, it just gives us a great idea that that now we, this object is now um, in, embedded into the thing uh, and then also to the ladder uh, if you look at the ladder uh, which I believe is under here, yeah, this, um, and then you have to save your changes, but you can see, um, I sh think there's a, why is it doing that? Hmm. Anyways, I, th I thought there was a, uh, maybe it's on the main object, um, that's embedded there. Which is probably possible because um, under the hmm. anyways, it must be creating a um, an object there. So uh, yeah, so that's uh, pretty much uh, pretty awesome. We've included the uh, version two, uh, the Hamlet engine version two. So it's really cool. So now we get access to a lot of um, a lot of UI uh, stuff that we were working on um, through the, um, yeah. I was trying to think of how to, you know, but I mean, it's really a lot of stuff that's not quite ready yet. Um, uh, oh, I guess I should talk about that. Like, this one is actually um, pretty cool. If we go into here, you can actually see that this uh, right here. Uh, behind all this is, is the new um, prefab system, which brings up the F, uh, I think it's TG, and something, it gives you hotkeys down, which is something I really missed. <laughs> uh, so you have to click on continue. Anyway, so that's a pretty good discussion of what's happening with um, the game demo. Um, and then we'll probably talk a little bit more about this. Uh, we just have some basic, uh, we're actually thinking about doing some cool stuff with Discord. Um, we've been posting a lot of, um, um, been using discord as sort of posting like um we do a lot of um demo work where we just post a, a gif of of what we've been working on and so we might uh start using that uh we use it we've been thinking about using it personally but then you know it might as well just showcase hey this is something i thought was cool um you know and and the game industry as well and and you know and so it could be more more ideas for that um i think it's just we're very small um niche uh sort of community and and um sort of you know building a, a lot of this technology uh yeah so anyways the status report uh, i was i i didn't get it it was soon but uh yeah i mean it's you know might as well to my own horn that we fulfilled the uh, status report from 
you know, oh, it's going to be soon, you know, for four months. But uh, I also thought about pushing out the point nineteen um, to the beta branch, but we're just going to call it the point eighteen point one because um, it's just it's going to minor changes and the major changes. I'm not sure exactly. Um, what the 19 changes will include, they might include a lot of UI, um, NPCs, sort of bringing more systems online um, and getting back to that original. Um, I would love to include the RTS element, um, but that's probably not going to happen. Um, so we'll have to see how that goes. Um, that's definitely one of those things we'd like to work on. Uh, and then at some point when I feel the 19 or the, the, uh, the beta branch is stable, we'll push that to the live branch. So, uh, But you can, everybody can play it any way they want. Uh, so yeah, we uh, we did a little bit of quite a bit of work uh, at the start of this. Uh, we knew exactly kind of what we needed to do, so we just dove right in, um, and we didn't even start the devlog um, changes. Uh, well, you can see well anyway. So left to right here, excuse me. Uh, log 18 was on June 9th, uh, and then we took almost uh, a week. Um, we uh, spent about five days, I think it was. It, uh, it was like two, a two day or day or two of fixing. Uh, we did a bunch of uh, dev log and design log work, um, and then uh, we were like, um, you know, from that point we were kind of talking about doing a a new like an 18.1, 18.5 or whatever like a uh, dev log, but then we just pushed it out to 19. Um, been part of that was too is like at the end of the 18 dev log we're talking about hey it would be really handy if I just brought all the old code in and I was debating about it and that was just like oh so let's go do it so it came up with about 500 errors um, because uh, and most of it was actually not that difficult it just basically comes down to uh, items are kind of one of the major uh, you can see that there isn't very lot of items uh, in the game and UI in terms of uh, stuff like that as well but in, internally they're actually being handled pretty decently I think and and actually pretty simply it's like I was working on these really complicated item systems and now I'm like oh it doesn't actually have to be that complicated uh, anyway so then that took a few days and then we took the weekend off and did some uh, we wanted to work on something else so we made a made some other stuff um, stuff and things <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. My mom's like, you shouldn't, you know, um, people, you know, you talk in such a roundabout way. And it's like, I, I don't know. I, I just, I, I suppose. But anyways, I made a, ter a Terraria clone over the weekend because uh, I didn't, I, you know, I wanted to take a break. Um, and yeah, so it was really awesome. Uh, and then, uh, and it's kind of, it's nice because it, it doesn't. It's like different from what I've been working on, and then I can start. I like starting with fresh projects; they seem fun. Uh, but then it also gives me the chance to sort of uh, work on a completely different crafting system, uh, which is what I was working on um, today and and last night as well. And so that's like something I really want. Um, I do. I have a different crafting system, but I'm just not sure. Though I'm excited about it. So anyway, so it's just a new way to test out some ideas and features of, and see how um, a game like Terraria does, and see how I could clone it and make it, you know, my own type of game, uh, with kind of a very similar spin to this game because it's like I'm kind of in that RPG castle mindset. Uh, anyway, so then uh, yeah, this is uh, Sunday, uh, Sunday morning-ish. Um, so we'll probably, I'm not, I th I'm not sure what we're going to do. We'll have to think about it. But um, as, as Monday rolls around the 17th, this will be on YouTube and we'll be uh, thinking about where we want to go next. Um, I have a lot of ideas. I guess we talked about uh, bringing NPCs more game over, uh, more UI and stuff like that. So uh, anyway, so this is kind of uh, cleaned up just from the pretty much 18. We've removed a couple of the things. Uh, but I thought it would just be uh, great to talk about some of these, uh, the micro and macro and sort of the overall view. Uh, you can see the micro environment. We were talking about the characters. Uh, items were included, so you can see that we were picking up rocks and um, logs, I think they're called. Yeah, logs. Um, it's kind of like the tree is, we're thinking about this as like one, two, three, four logs or something like that and some sticks. Um, we're not sure how we're going to do items. Uh, we know that we drop items on the ground. Uh, in their pickable object form, um, but you know we're not sure exactly what we're going to do there that makes it visible. Um, you know, um, and you know, so and part of it is too is like the items on the ground are going to be valuable 
to someone, so if you don't pick them up, someone might. So uh, that's part of the plan. Uh, anyways, we talked about the Crate and Barrel. Uh, and today, I was just like, or this week, I was like, hey, you know, I've got the interactions working, which is what the major theme we're working on. Why not just add the, uh, the ability to store rocks? Uh, and it's like, you know, it's kind of more of a... Uh, and so I just gave the crate and barrel. Uh, I don't think we have the barrels yet, but anyways, the crate was uh, just storing rocks. And then we have the wood pile, which is always intended, but we never got into it in this demo. Uh, and then we have the house and the bed as well. Uh, we want to include the uh, particle systems and the energy and all that, but we're sort of delaying that until we feel like we're in a good state. Um, also, too, I should talk about the other thing about movement of the character. Um, there is better animations or different animations that make it seem a little bit um, cleaner, but it just feels like it just takes way too much time to move from one space to the next. So we've been we're kind of as as we develop it, you can see we're like, you know, running from one end of the map to, you know, the map, but running from your house, your bit, your house to the trees and back and forth. And and part of that is like uh, the we've actually included the weight system. I guess we didn't talk about that, but there's a I guess partly because the items didn't work as well as they should have because we um, um, we it's, I'm not I, I guess it's partly because of the 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 storage of the items are being stored on the the scriptural object or the data and that we're saving and loading some of that data and it's corrupting some of the the data set that we're actually not getting a fresh fresh build there i was just kind of cool because i see the intention is that you're in the adventure slot zero uh and that's why you should sometimes don't have to load and save your character i think if it starts from anyway so the point being is that that um but that uh yeah, so, I mean, that's really cool, but then it's like, it's like, it's not really helpful to test out these things. But anyways, part of that, too, is like um, having the items in the game, uh, I think, you know, are one of the core, um, core thing I've been, like, you know, with Terraria and these games, um, even these simple RPG fun games are just all about items and collecting items. And part of that, too, is like you use the items, the, the rocks and the sticks to build uh, uh, equipment and you use it to build um, crafting stations, which then build bigger stuff and more and houses and beds and and you can eventually. Um, as part of the idea, we've been thinking about this idea of the castle. Eventually, is that they would want to collect 500 trillion rocks. Uh, so every rock you pick up, uh, you might be able to sell to the castle, who wants uh, you know to to build a castle. So that's you know if that's your goal then somehow you have to collect. Um, and I think that's like the economies of scale as well. It's like, you're right, you're running around. You can, a rock is one weight. You can carry 10 weight right now. So you can pick up 10 rocks. Um, and um, and so it's like, that's going to take, um, you know, so if you need a, a million rocks or something, you're going to have to scale that up. I don't know what the numbers are going to be, but that's sort of that general idea is that we want to go into this, like, oh, hey, you know, like every little, there's like, you know, on this stone house, the first foundation, there's like, you know, 300 stones already in just this one house. Uh, anyway, so that's, that would be cool. Uh, so it's kind of like a, and that's sort of where that energy and sort of sleeping and uh, so it's, it's like a combination of all those things that what should make for uh, the constraints and funness in the game. And then as you build up uh, the pickaxes where you can just sort of, um, and then start building mine, mining things and all sorts, of, and get more people to help out as well. Is kind of where it's going as well. So, uh, anyways, I think that's pretty good. It sort of highlights a lot of things that we're doing. Um, we want to do a lot more, um, but it's sort of like we're just trying to. Uh, mostly for the last couple of weeks, it's been about um, the major work has been about the interactions of what can we put into the game. You can see we're working on a whole bunch of new items uh, types. Um, I even was thinking about carts uh, as well. Um, it's sort of like that that next economy of scale that I've been talking about. Uh, it's just the idea that you can collect, um, you can buy or have a cart, and then you can load that cart up with resources. And 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 sort of that's kind of what we're testing right now. Is like a dumb sort of simplistic way to go do that. Is like just to you know walk up to something and you know load it. Um, even though we don't have the animations or the, the interactions in the world, we just need all those pieces working. And this is kind of like, 
um, a no like I should have done that a long time ago, but I was like, oh, I want it to be really complicated, but it's like it doesn't have to be super complicated, you know, as long as you get some feedback there of what's happening, um, and then eventually we can add in like the the, the wood pile is pretty cool. I, sh I wish I could have shown that. You can add in uh, I think ten logs in the wood pile. Um, and that's really cool. So maybe I'll work on fixing that as well for next week. Uh, anyway, so moving on, we uh, looked at a lot of graphics um, and a lot of things. We definitely think this pack is really cool, but it just it doesn't fit uh, into the world scale right now, and that's sort of a big problem for us. Where it's like we don't, and we actually looked at the asset view of these assets, and we're not. I don't think we're convinced that they're going to include the doors in the way we want. And then also too, we realized that that in the simplest form what we're trying to accomplish is not um well, i guess the three by three house is great but you know that's sort of like um it's sort of hard to imagine but i guess this picture is better but you can see that this is one two three and then so it's a three by three house so eventually is what this is and then the bed fits you know a two by um bed but it's like we kind of wanted this idea where there's just one single you know doorway as the object and most everybody has this this trinary building set where it's like the door frame is like the entire front wow this scale feels so wrong but anyways you can imagine that you know that the you know this scale um well the scale is bad but you can see that there is definitely a tileish entity here in terms of the node-based uh, movement so um we kind of wanted to somewhat avoid that in the starter house, but it's it's probably not going to matter in the long term when we get, you know, multiple buildings that have multiple entrances and, you know, that are, you know, 5 by 20 by 30 tiles. So it's like, it's it's insane. So we started working on a little bit of that. I think this will be cool. I, we definitely like the, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, stakes as well. So that's going to definitely be a, a way to build up your town. Um, you know we're gonna it's like it's 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 a it's it's a combination between the rts elements of you're trying to build a, a structure a well to get a town started you know because you need water and you know wells are it seems like you can see their central a central building uh central idea for towns and we thought it was it's always been the the focus of the town is that around like a city center of the well um, and it's like, yeah, so to build a well, you're going to need 300 stone and then, and then someone to build it and the plans and the technology and all this stuff, which you might have most of that. Um, and then, then it's like, and then you can expand from there that you have this house. Now you have water and two, you have fresh drinking water, which we haven't sort of included yet, but we've been thinking about a little bit. So, so yeah, so that's like the RTS, you know, building elements is great um but like how that fits into a larger world um and and how this fits uh, you can see our 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 ladders are not really um that interesting but it's like when you start adding in these curves and these it's it's you know we'll have to see what this looks like and how it scales and we've been learning a lot um with what we've been doing um now to sort of match these things up and if i bring all these models in um, I think that would be cool too because it gives us options as well to start including um, you know shops and stuff like that um, that we want to include um, uh, you know uh, blacksmiths and lumber and a lot of the um, crafting stations it's kind of like with Terraria it's like you have the workbench and the forge and the and the smelter well in this sort of medieval example they're buildings that you know you have a ore smelter that you bring all your ore to and he buys the ore and smelts it or you you know work with him to do more stuff and so that's kind of like the idea here is like these buildings uh give are your crafting stations and then you can you know you can have you can all, you can build your own uh, eventually in some of these games as well like you know oh why would you you know why would you you know you can buy your own uh, uh forge or buy your own uh smeltery uh, eventually uh, which is something i always enjoy too uh and, and the single player it works out really well where it's like you don't you're not concerned about 
uh, the fact that, you know, you have this one building that's like, you know, <laughs> you got this huge town and then you just go to this little building that's like, oh man, you guys, like I live and breathe in that building, but I got these people being, bringing me resources and anyway, so we'll have to see how that goes. It's definitely something we're thinking about and starting to work on towards, but right now I think it's just focusing on the interactions and bringing more of that, you know, I, uh, and then we still kind of have to solve the, the, the essential problem of uh, if I tell the, if I click on this character and right click on this tree, then he needs to know how to do that. And it can't, and part of the problem I'm, I'm seeing is that it can't be a separate code base from, you know, the, the RPG character doing it versus the, the, um, the omniscient, omniscient, uh, yourself doing it because then it's like, I have two separate code base that do the essentially the same thing. And it's like, I find a bug I can't I need to fix it in bowls so I think we have uh, interesting ways to work around this and we've been testing out those ideas but that's kind of one of the uh, and then it's also falls into the one of the next categories we've been thinking about for a long time is that the character AI uh, you know when the character is free to do whatever they want to do there's so many different ways to get that accomplished and we're just not seeing the in-depth um, discussion we need you know we we you know our our critters start with this really basic you know flee attack patrol you know this is the standard ai systems but we need a much more complicated system for our npcs that have you know love and hate and 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 ambitions and goals and all sorts of things that make them really you know why are they a farmer you know what are they trying to accomplish uh, but but as the game gets bigger in the interactions then some of those will be easier to sort of branch out and say oh hey um, you know and then we might build um, um, stub subsystems as well like they you know there's a 10% chance that they'll the, you know when the crops fail that they'll have to or when the crops fail then they'll have to respond to that and have more interactions like that that will feed in the larger systems that they'll be and that's sort of our goal right now is to get them to do their basic stuff like eat, sleep, work, socialize, and then do that all over again. And then, and then when things change, and then when that system feels like it's in place, then we can start adding in, uh, which will be really cool at the town because we can add in, um, you know, at some point we'll add in this 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 town scene that you'll just go in and you can interact with and. Maybe it'll, it'll just be like a few steps away from your, your I mean, this hovel is supposed to be like out in the middle of nowhere and then you go find the town. But, you know, we might make it closer and then you can go into the town and start exploring that sooner. Uh, which is kind of the fun thing about game development where it's like you, you're you not constrained to, you know, running through the world. You can, you know, teleport to places as well, uh, which we, we probably will include at some point as well, um, just to kind of speed things up and like you're moving forward uh anyways I, i'm talking about all that and that's sort of like but uh, but that's sort of that, that major uh where it fits uh just in the town well level uh and this is sort of like that that version four that these this stuff is not going to be the military and royalty is kind of like included in the the post update versions there'll probably be some form of that uh, because the laws are kind of pointless without guards to protect uh, things like that. Like I can break, I can, I can disobey the king all day. But if he has no military, uh, the king may not uh, may not be uh, as useful. Anyway, so I think that's pretty good. Um, yeah. So and then we talked a little bit about the micro environment. Uh, just clean this up, uh, make it really fun. Bring back this demo even, uh, uh, and sort of you can see the the axe. Um, and you know we really need the bun and the the backpack was also cool too, uh, but now it's like I feel like there's actually real gameplay. Uh, it's not working right now because I was making some other changes. It's always a big problem of I should I should have recorded some videos. I wonder if I did, but anyways I um um it's like you know so anyways so it feels like there's real gameplay now of you're collecting the logs. Uh, it's not feeding into the system like you're collecting logs for winter and for heating your homes and resources and right now it's just store like sto free storage that you can sort of uh, you know the the eventually the the kingdom you know your your family eventually will will manage those resources as quarter of the plan is that you're sort of collecting these um you know you're stockpiling 
uh, for, a, for a, hopefully for a rainy day. Um, but yeah, so it's just really nice to be able to go up and pick up the ox. Um, we'll have to fix the trees and figure out exactly how they're going to work. Um, it's, it's interesting to, like, as, an, as a single person character, you want to be able to walk up to a, a tree and just punch it and get some wood right away. Uh, but in a environment for, with NPCs and energy and work cost and uh, the bigger picture, you, you, you're going to need um, much more. Um, but, I mean, realistically, it's, it, you know, it, it's, I think it's sort of the, the simulation of cutting down the tree, collecting the logs, and then cutting them up, um, which we actually have an idea and some of the graphics to bring that online. So I think that would be cool, too. Um, but I mean, and right there you can get like, and that's part of like, it's sort of, I think the idea is like that economy of scale is like when you chop down a tree, you get four logs, but if you chop down the tree and bring the, 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 the full log timber to the mill, then you can get six logs and then you bring it to the upgraded mill. Now you can get eight logs. So it's like you're doubling your resources with a little bit more effort. And I think that's going to be cool too. It's like you can start building, you know, barrels and crates and houses and stuff and tools, and then you can start upgrading those tools as well. So that's kind of like the, the, the next sort of, that's kind of where it fits into this macro world. And then, then you have like your, your uh, carts and, and horses. And, and that's kind of where it gets, I think this gets really into the RTS elements of, now it's not you're not you're not just chopping down the trees i think that's the big difference for me in minecraft it's always felt like you can get there through automation with tools but the idea here is that we're going to get that through through npcs and through work and through um you know um horsepower <laughs> you know the original definition of horsepower with horses and carts and 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 extra hands to help you out uh, anyways i'm sure this is over 45 minutes or an hour so I think oh, only 30 or 40 minutes. Anyway, so it's it's coming along pretty good. Hopefully, we'll have a much better uh, working demo for you with the logs and stuff. Um, it was just a, a change in some of how things worked. And, um, yeah, um, I, there's obviously a bug there with the, the, the on-hit cooldown. It's, the on-hit cooldown is only supposed to trigger... Um, as sort of That's sort of the idea. And maybe I should sort of eliminate the, the cooldowns um, for right now. Um, there was a, a the Terraria clone. I, 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 I don't really have any cooldowns. I just have like it takes three hits and you get the resource. So that's probably what I should maybe focus on. Now, if you spam those three hits, you know, that's that's too bad. Oh, sad. But I mean, it's not what the gameplay is going to be like, but that's sort of what it's faster to test that with. And then I can actually go out and take the logs, drop them off with the wood pile then the wood pile becomes much more effective, which then feeds into the heating and control system of, you know, it's sort of like uh, with the survival games, it's like with, without food generation and, and having tons of food, it's like, it feels like it's not really a fun game until you start, you know, building up, um, 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 you know, um, that sort of system. And I think Minecraft has gotten away from that with most, most people. It's like you can, run around the entire world and not have to eat hardly anything um, for most mod packs nowadays. So it's like, <laughs> so I'm not, I've been leaning away from the pure survival aspects of the game. It's sort of like you sort of see the, it's the melding of the RPG, the RTS with the survival and the roguelike. And that's sort of the roguelike is the, the definition of where it's hopefully going to lean towards. Anyway, so uh, hopefully I'll have a better demonstration of that. Uh, well, we probably won't, but I mean, I just meant we'll have a cleaner demonstration of more systems, I think, as things um, are definitely making a massive progress towards getting everything online, um, figuring out exactly how things should work. Um, and then even eliminating those cooldowns will make it for a speedier development. And then I can start adding in some of those later. Um, and, you know, too, it's like it doesn't really matter right now if you collect... I mean, especially at the weights that you can only collect, I think it's, um, like five, uh, you know, there's, I don't remember the, what the log, logs are. I think if I can look this up real quick. Um, I think it's get weight. It's, I mean, it's just extremely simple. 
Um, yeah, so the logs are five, yeah, so you can actually only carry um, two logs. Um, yeah, I think that's how it works. Yeah, this is, and here's the bunny, so. I mean, it's just it, you know, the bunny slippers, there's the bunny slippers, and then they're in one weight, so the, the pack, uh, the mining pick, is the pick in here? Um, the pick should be somewhere. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, yeah, so the pick is just, it creates the item right here through the pick. Uh, and then it just says, it's it just sort of describes it, but if it doesn't find it, then it just adds the weight. I believe the weight is one. Um, and everything spawns as rusty as well. So um, so here's that, you know, the, the um, rarity system, which we might thin down a little bit. It's getting kind of out of hand. But anyways, you can see that, that, you know, even like all this doesn't need to be signified, but the axe and the pack. See, the pack adds one, and I think you start out at, um, you start at like uh, five weight or something like that, and then the pack adds ten, so now you can carry fifteen or, so, you know, something like that. So now, but, you know, so it's like you can carry three logs, but because the, 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 the axe um, is uh, one weight, then you can only carry two logs or, you know, something to that effect. So, um, you know, and then that's sort of like the idea is this is the rusty pack that, you know, it's the idea that the pack is not going to, it's not giving you a, um, um, this is not, this is not the weight of the pack item, but it's, um, anyways, it's, uh, and then rocks are two and then logs are five. So you, you can carry, uh, at the start of the game, I think you can carry five rocks. So you carry five rocks to the, the bin, and right now the bin can just store as many rocks as you want. Um, but uh, we'll have to adjust that as we go. Um, like, and the wood pile is awesome because the wood pile can store uh, ten logs, and it, it it's meant to be bigger. But that's kind of like where we want to build that extensible system of of right now. It, you know, you can hold ten logs, but then you build a secondary wood pile with your crafting, and now you can hold twenty logs for the winter. Uh, and there's not any ideas of decay, but, you know, we'll probably have something like that. Anyway, so um, I wasn't a big fan of the way system, but it's it's just really nice and simple. And it sort of eliminates the, the need for complicated UI. Um, and there's, uh, and I think in the start, it's sort of like you manage that a little bit. But as, as you get the carts and you get more... Um, uh, managerial systems such as telling people where to go and what to do then you you'll have to rely less and less on that and that will go away and i think that's same with the survival aspects it's like maybe in the at some point you'll start the game and be like i'm starving and need to find shelter and then that will go away pretty quickly as your character you know you know has enough resources to not worry about that and eventually just doesn't even worry about it although it's like you're still selling apples and 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 wheat and and bread by the by the cartloads, uh, making a ton of money as you uh, build up the system, and that's that's kind of where I love going as the business. It's like you're building the business from scratch, and that's sort of the, the uh, another way to explain this game. Um, and then it's like, and then as that system gets bigger and bigger, you know, it requires more and more, and it's like then it's like then you're building your own castles and you're building your own armies, and it's like it could go forever. So, anyways, thanks very much. I hope. I hope, I hope we get there someday. Uh, I think this is I, this is this is really fun, and it's my my sort of dream RPG project, dream RPG castle. Um, you'll see that with the new the uh, the castle. Um, I just kind of finished up another castle uh, RPG design. I'm not sure the family one just is just went out, um, and then I believe there's one or two more. But then we'll get into the castles, and then we'll maybe maybe I'll show. A, showcase the Terraria system or do something else. But anyways, thanks very much. You have a great day. We'll see uh, everybody next week. You take care.